Good morning, the writing school. Can I help you? Oh, hi. I'm ringing about the online writing courses you advertise on the internet. Yes. Would you like me to send you a brochure? Um, I would, but I also have some questions. Okay. Well, let me take your details first, and then I can deal with the questions after that. Okay. I just need to fill out this form. So,、um, can you give me your first name, please? Yes, it's Alex. That's great, Alex. And what's your last name? It's Sakdeva. Okay, can you spell that for me? Yes, it's S A C H D. Is that P? No, D E V A. Okay, I've got that. Now, can you give me your address? Well, I'm staying with friends at the moment, but I'll be in my new flat in Preston next week. Well, perhaps the Preston address is best. Okay, so that's flat four A, three hundred and ninety-six New Valley Road. New Valley Road. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's great, and we know the town. That's Preston. Yes. Do you know what your postcode will be there? Oh, I think I've got it somewhere on a piece of paper. Let me see. Yes, here it is.、Uh, it's B N six three B Z. B S. No, B Z. Right. I guess you don't have a phone number yet. No, not at the flat. And my mobile's not working right now. I have to take it to the shop and see what's wrong. Oh, I hope it's nothing serious. Well, it's new, so it should be all right. You could give me the number anyway for the future. Yes. Okay.、Um, it's zero seven eight seven three four five zero double seven. That's three five four zero double seven. No, three four five. Up.、Oh, thanks. I'll note that your phone is not working right now. Okay, thanks. Now, the last thing I need is an email address. Okay, it's alex seven at ptu dot com. That's my personal address. Ptu dot com. Fine. Now, as you're moving, I'll put something in the message box so that the brochure doesn't come too early. Yes, could you do that? I'll put deliver. Brochure next week. Oh, that's great. Now, what would you like to do about? Track eight, unit seven, listening, exercises five and six. Now you can see on our website that we have a lot of courses. What are you interested in doing? Well, I don't want to publish anything. I just want to raise the standard of my own writing. Yes, it depends on whether you want to, you know, write creatively or for fun. We also have fiction writing that includes writing children's stories.、Uh, Well, I work in an advertising agency, so I'd like to write better, so that, well, I'd like my salary to rise. Okay, so we can send you our brochure for business writing, and if you think it'll be right for you, then you can enrol. Great.、Uh, what happens after that? Then we send you the course pack.、Uh, what does that contain? You get some books that will help you with your writing skills. An audio course on CDs and instructional DVDs to watch, and some lesson texts to read. Okay.、Uh, what if I change my mind? Well, you can send the materials back to us. You have twenty-one days to decide, and we'll refund your fees within that time. Oh, that's quite good.、Uh, I see. So the enrolment fee includes the course materials? Yes, it does. For all our courses, so are there different fees for different courses? Yes, at the moment your course is. Let me see, they've just raised the prices. It was three hundred and forty pounds, but I think it's three hundred and seventy-five pounds now.
Yes, fees rose a month ago, I'm afraid, um, by 10%. Most of our courses are now between three and four hundred pounds. Okay, that's not bad. So, who will teach me? Well, before we decide that, you do your first written assignment. It's like a personal profile. So, I write about things like my background and where I was brought up? No, it's the future we're interested in. Oh, okay. So, uh, what I want to get from the course and how it will help me to achieve my ambitions? That's right. We get a picture of who you are and your needs, and then we match you to a personal tutor who will teach you and work with you. That's a good idea. And uh, how do I get that to you? Well, you send it in to us by post or through our website. What about lessons? There are 15 lessons altogether, and each one has an assignment. And what sort of feedback will I get? There's continuous online support, and part of that is a web-based facility for all the students on your programme to get together. Oh, so we can share ideas and things? That's right, with no need to go into a classroom or be tied to weekly schedules. OK. Thanks. Uh, I think that's all my questions. Don't hesitate to call if you have any more. OK. Thanks. Bye. Now turn to Section 2. Section 2. You will hear a recorded message about buying tickets from a booking agency. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 15. Thank you for calling ATS Advanced Ticketing System, the call system for all your entertainment needs. Our automated telephone service is designed to answer your questions quickly and easily. The ATS office in the Regency Theatre is open Monday to Thursdays from 10am to 5pm and on Friday and Saturday till 8pm. For online bookings and detailed program listings, check our website at www.atsticks.com. That's spelled A T S T I X. Please listen to the choices available. You may press your choice as soon as you hear it to get more information. For sporting events, including the Western International Tennis Classic, press 1. For the Formula One Grand Prix, press 2. For classical music, including the upcoming Philharmonic Orchestra Series, press 3. For theatre and dance, press 4. For other inquiries, please hold the line. Before the recorded message continues, you have some time to look at questions 16 to 20. Now, as the message continues, answer questions 16 to 20. Ticket prices for the Formula One Grand Prix on the 10th until the 14th of March are as follows. General admission, Thursday, $27. Concession, $10. Friday, $37. Concession, $15. Saturday, 
Concession, $35. Sunday, $70. Concession, $65. Concession rates apply to children under 14 and to students, seniors and pensioners on presentation of a valid card. Grandstand seating. Four day tickets covering the six main grandstands cost $299. However, pit straight tickets are $350 and seats at the chicane cost $450 each. Children under three are admitted free to the general admissions area and children under 14 are eligible for concession prices. Gates open at 8am Thursday and Friday and 7.30 Saturday and Sunday. Events begin at 9 o'clock. Alcohol, ice boxes, cans, bottles and animals are not allowed on site. There are no refunds or exchanges. On each ticket, a $2.50 booking fee applies. To make a booking, you must have a valid credit card. To listen again, press 1. To make a booking or to talk to a ticket agent, press 2. Your call is in our queue. You can expect to wait about three minutes. That is the end of section 2. You have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 3. Section 3. You will hear a conversation between a student called Mary and her tutor, Mr. Hadstone. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Hello, Mr. Headstone. Is this the right time for our meeting? Yes, it is. Thanks for coming in at such a late hour, Mary. I know you've had a busy day studying and will be keen to get home. And thanks for volunteering to run this project. It's going to help you develop and practice skills needed by teachers today. Field trips are getting more and more a part of school life. So as a student of education, it'll be wonderful training for you. It's really a great opportunity. We did loads of field trips at school, so I've got a good idea of what sort of things we could do. Hmm, I expect so. But we're here to go through the basics of planning one, and the trip leader carries a load of responsibility. Right now, you're focusing on activities, but your main job is to consider the dangers and come up with ways of countering or avoiding them. There are lots of government regulations you won't have been aware of on your school trips, but they're just a guideline for your own planning. Some of those school trips you went on would have been pretty adventurous, right? Yeah. Okay, and your plan needs to be tailored to the kind of trip you're doing. On a well-planned and successfully led adventure trip, we don't often hear of problems, even though sometimes there's bad weather, for example, that a, that a school party has managed to combat. That's because the leader created a well-thought-out hazard management plan. Ah! Oh, I thought I'd just be taking my mates out on a trick. Now it's all paperwork. Yes, well, that's why I called you in. We'll work on this together over the next few days. I just wanted to give you a heads-up on what you'll need to think about. There are some aspects that every trip needs to consider. What do you think they might be? Uh, well... Heavy rain, 
Or high winds, I guess? And any dangers in the terrain? Yes, we call those the significant factors. And another important one is the makeup of your group. But you don't need to go overboard. There are some kinds of hazard that you won't need to think about at all. Things like hurricanes, earthquakes, radioactivity, or major diseases such as cancer. The official name for those is unlikely events, because they almost certainly won't happen. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. Okay, so let's consider the hazards seen as most likely on a field trip into the countryside. Weather causes real problems. Overexposure to the sun or the cold, even the wind, can have a big impact. And of course, the weather can change very suddenly and without warning. Yes. People can get into trouble in the hills if they don't bring extra layers of clothes and a jacket, even if they start walking on a hot day. Oh, and a raincoat too, of course. Um, what's next then? Well, let's think about possible activities and what you might need. Yes, OK. Well, for hiking, of course, we need a first aid kit. Oh, and a decent topographic map of the area. And we need to make sure that more than one person can read it. I've run into lots of difficulties in the past with people who can't identify even major features, like rivers. And some people have no idea about contour lines. Ah, uh, and I suppose a compass, too. You'd need to list those. Then there are things that might be obvious, but must be written down and considered seriously. For example... If there's a possibility of falling more than two and a half meters, that's considered life-threatening. And I'm sure you would be aware of problems near the sea, like tides or high waves. And the trouble you can get into where there's a possibility of an avalanche or a mudslide or a flash flood if you're anywhere near rivers. Yes. Well, I was thinking of an adventurous route for this trip. You know, that's always more fun. And it's such a cool feeling when you've achieved something really difficult. Yes, okay, but then you need to consider who's going to be in your party. Don't go and plan things that are beyond the reach of most people or you're asking for trouble. You need to take into account the physical strength and experience of the party as a whole. When you make your groups, make sure there's at least one person in each one who's been hiking a few times before. Wow! There's a lot to write down, isn't there? I'm really keen to get started now. Well, good, because there's a lot more detail to consider. For now, I'll just mention two more of the common hazards for high school trips in particular. Yes? The Ministry of Education website says don't use inexperienced volunteers and don't allow student drivers to bring their own cars or to drive anyone else's car, for that matter. Well... Now I really have something to think about. Thanks, Mr. Headstone. That is the end of Section 3. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4. Section 4. You will hear a talk on the research of the behaviour of chimpanzees. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40.
Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Welcome back to my series of short lectures on apes. Today we will examine recent and historical breakthroughs on the behaviour of chimpanzees, otherwise known as chimps. The word chimpanzee is an umbrella term for two different species of apes in the genus Pan, which are the common chimpanzee or Pan troglodytes found in West and Central Africa, and the bonobo or Pan paniscus, which are found in the forests of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Chimpanzees belong to the hominidae family, together with gorillas, orangutans, and indeed humans. Current research tells us that the chimps broke away from the human branch of the hominidae family approximately six million years ago and remain the closest living relative to humans to this day. More modern researchers into chimpanzees have centered on their behavioral characteristics once all biological and genetic factors have been ruled out. In this way, scientists have unearthed an unfathomable amount of similarities between human and chimpanzee behavior. Although much of this research has taken place through observation of captive chimps, the results are widely seen as an authoritative reflection of chimps living in the wild. Chimps live in large so-called communities comprised of many male and female members, with the social hierarchy determined by an individual chimp's position and influence. Through such research, scientists have found that chimps learn and adapt through observation of others' behavior. Once in power, the alpha male is often seen to alter its body language in order to retain power. For example, he might puff himself up in order to intimidate others, while lower-ranking chimps are noted to behave more submissively and holding out their hands while grunting. Female chimpanzees also have a distinct social hierarchy with high social standing inherited by children. It is not unheard of for dominant females within a community to unite and overthrow the alpha male, backing another in his place. James Diamond, in his book the third chimpanzee, suggests that chimps should now be reclassified in the genus Homo instead of Pan, and there are many arguments still in favour of this. Male common chimpanzees are, on average, 1.7 metres in height, weighing 70 kilograms, with their female counterparts being somewhat smaller. By comparison, the bonobo is slightly shorter and lighter, but with longer arms and legs. However, both species walk on all fours and climb trees with great ease. Jane Goodall made a groundbreaking discovery in 1960 when she observed the use of tools among chimpanzees, including digging for termites with large sticks. A recent study claimed to reveal that common chimpanzees in Senegal have been using spears sharpened with their teeth to hunt. However, these reports remain unsubstantiated. Researchers have witnessed such tools, namely rocks, being used by chimps to open coconut shells and indeed crushing nuts with stone hammers. As scientific technology has developed, so too has our knowledge of the sheer extent of the chimps' intelligence. Research has now shown that chimps have the capability to learn and use symbols and understand aspects of the human language including syntax, as well as numerical sequences. As I mentioned earlier, the umbrella term chimpanzee is comprised of the common chimpanzee and the bonobo. These two subspecies are divided along the Congo River, with the common chimps living on one side and the bonobos living on the opposite side of the river. Over the past few decades, both of these subspecies have witnessed an alarming decrease in population density, with animal activists now working harder than ever to protect those remaining and encourage procreation. In addition, next week's episode will focus more closely on how chimpanzees in captivity are able to learn things through imitating the behavior of humans, as well as how chimpanzees' behaviors 
have developed over many generations. Thank you very much for attending this evening's lecture. I hope you found it intellectually stimulating, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Good night. That is the end of section 4. You now have half a minute to check your answers.